Legacy of the Wizard, originally released in Japan as Dragon Slayer 4 Drazzle Family, is a fantasy-based action role-playing platform game released for the MSX, MSX2, and Famicom in Japan and for the Nintendo Entertainment System in the United States. It's one of only five Dragon Slayer games that were localized outside Japan. The game was an early example of an open-world, non-linear option RPG combining action RPG gameplay with what would later be called Metroidvania-style action drama elements. And we get to play it now, so here we go. The controls should be simple. I press enter. I I I'm at this table. This looks like a dining table. I'm not sure. Enter, shift. Okay, what are we doing here? Should I select? Oh, okay, cool. I think I want to be this uh, dog. Enter. Shift. No. Yes. Ooh, what happened? Cool. Inventory, equipment, exit. I just want to exit, really. Inventory. Let's just exit. We could be here. Where am I going? Actually, I was thinking this was some sort of Mario game, but I guess not. Can we climb up this tree that says shop? No. Oh, right. It did say open world, so it doesn't have like a path built in, I guess. I could quote unquote forge my own path. Open world. Ooh, what a concept. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I'm running out of magic. What's going on? What? Okay, I admit I haven't played anything like this before. The open world game I know is called Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Or oh, it may be Legends Arceus. Just a Pokemon stuff where it's it's basically the same thing winning badges quests and all but it, there's not set path unlike old games and i th does this mean i could go back home and be another character okay i'm still figuring out how this works but we start in a house with different characters and you could be any of them and then you're taken to this inventory, none of the items I have, and then there's strength, jump, and distance. I am not sure how this works. Life, magic, key, gold item. How am I supposed to acquire materials for the inventory? Inventory. How am I supposed to get to this shop? Jump? Can I jump? Can I jump? Can I climb up? Oh. I'm running out of magic. And this, there seems to be a limited limited path. Like, where where do I actually... Oh, oh my god. Oh wait, this, is, this looks like a way down. Okay. Those hammers would be... Those magic thingies would be use, useful now. There, like that. Get a key. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. I have to admit, this is different. It, it's interesting different. Good different. I didn't realize immediately that I'm supposed to go down. To progress but okay this is interesting you have limited resources how do I go up hmm. I'm not sure how this would work
Okay. You still have some elements of figuring things out. But it's fun. It's not a, like a traditional straightforward setting where... Where everything is just in front of you. You have some story thing going on. Which does not make sense in immediately. Okay, I'm supposed to jump, right? I, I, I think I should kill this whatever this is, spider? Oops. Is that game over? somewhere I'm getting somewhere I'm not sure where <laughs> but I'm getting somewhere I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go but I'm getting somewhere or I'm getting there to get through I have extra I have lives to spare so I do that oh they're following me god no interesting a lot of different locations mm. better get out of here I'm out of I'm out of the Hold on, Z Z would allow me to throw stuff at things No! Okay, I get potions as a reward for knocking whatever these things are. Takes a couple of hits. Okay. This feels innovative. I'm under the impression that there wasn't anything like this when it came out. And that's saying a lot for a retro game. keeps going, you know what I'm saying? It feels kind of seamless. It's different, but in a good way. I like it. It's like you never know what's next, but it's fine because you just, if you just roll, roll with it, it's rather a complicated environment, but simple enough that you can keep up.
I'm very intrigued. Hmm. Alright, now I'm just interested. Like, is there an end to this? Or what does the end, quote unquote, the end look like? Hmm. Very interesting. Oops. I'm out of life. Game of <sighs> Alright. Before we do an, a second playthrough, I want to stress out that at first I didn't understand it. It was different. But it's growing on me. I want to try again. I, I want to know what else is there. Like, th there's a lot of possible routes to take. I want to. I'm interested genuinely. The routes that I did not take, what are in those? I want those questions answered. And let's try this, uh, what do you call this, a shepherd? Let's try this shepherd character right here. And I select password, what? Password? No, I don't need the password. Maybe I'll just be the dog again. Seems much simpler. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Equipment. Just, just, let's just exit. Alright, let's try again. It's interesting. Do those different characters have like, um... Different abilities or something? Would they do better in specific fields? Okay. This seems to, uh... Need a lot more hits. To her opponents. Oops. What is this? There's a lot of variety. I like it. It's a fresh concept. Considering all the games that were out at this time period. Took this path. Maybe I did. Actually, the other path might be easier. Let's let's see what it's what's there. I kind of took that downward path earlier. I want to see what's in here. Ooh, money. See, I, I'm so glad I changed paths. This is like a bonus, a bonus area that I never would have seen had I taken the same path. I think the advantage of this game over others is that there's so much variety in it. Um, it it'll take a while before you, uh, you start to get bored, before things start to plateau, if you get my drift. This is an excellent take on the open world genre. Especially at the time it was released. a blue staircase and I'm curious what is in the blue staircase not much I see okay good thing it's not good thing it, it was uh, easy getting out of there
Okay, am I stuck here? Oh no. Got it. Interesting. But I am claustrophobic though. I don't want to be here. I see. I need to make a, a strategic leap so I could continue. That, that's the fun, fun slash hard part. But I see it. <gasps> get to that specific spot that brown that brown block over there I'm stuck here see I need momentum there's not much space I need momentum to jump can I knock something over to get there know what I'm trying to do right I'm trying to get to the to that new area I think that brown thing <laughs> was my ticket out maybe I could use it as momentum I need to I need it to be at the right spot so I can jump come here come here you now no! I need to be there. Or maybe I could just take another wave. Alright, this is too hard, so I'm just gonna take another way. Look for another way. Actually, I don't think there is another way. <laughs> oh my god. a lot of lives left but am I really living if I'm just stuck in one place oh wow that's deep all right I I think this is a uh, I think this level of gameplay already gave us enough uh, enough of an idea of how nuanced how different how innovative this game is i would encourage you to try it and the good news is we have more games like this in our website that you should definitely check out so thanks for watching bye